It's already August the 25th, 2023. I previously have alleged that I got growth hormone retardation early child development growth hormone injections at my age seven i wasn't even sure maybe eight well this account of mine i am changing into age one is when i first got injections used for probably even retardation, growth. Slowing of the growth hormones at age one. Now, what will bewilder you is why, how, and so on. So I recall a police officer, Slovenian, which might have not even been a police officer. It might have been, who the hell knows? Maybe this was, I think, probably was a state prosecutor for Slovenia or something like this. And he did have maybe other two police officers. There were three people from Slovenia that would drive me, commute me to Belgrade to President Josip Broz Tito in 1972, age one, one and a half, early mornings became my routine, it became my life. It felt for me like I was more inside of that car traveling mornings than registering anything else about what went on around me, and that was because of a total chaos of violence that Josip Bros Tito, you know, Josip Bros Tito, president of so called Yugoslavia, enforced not only against me, I have to say, but it was also other children Josip Bros Tito enforced. But what will bewilder you? What will shock you in this video? <sighs> and it became evident to me because at age, maybe age three, uh, Jovanka Bros, that's a wife from Josip Bros Tito, and Josip Bros Tito. Uh, realize at age two and a half that I am no longer competitive with the children. Uh, when I entered this program at age one, I was amongst the most competitive. I am not going to say I was the most competitive, but I was interesting enough for Josip Bros Tito to put me on the list. They would deliver to the Belgrade. You see, this is as deadly account as possible my going all the way to age number fucking fuck you on it because you couldn't tell the fucking truth have you it's worse than what i stated once on my blog that i was a human experimentation animal it's worse when the truth is so ugly don't count you ever gonna get any on a plate not it's gonna be hard to get one recognized they would deliver a lot of children to the belgrade a lot of us small kids and they would sort us into groups and they would test us and shit man this was like a fucking incubator or something like this with other children uh, while they're running around going group this that testing us I probably response intelligence uh, what's crazy about this shit is that
what makes the human being is literally is most of you have no dream about is 99.91% 99% what makes the human being is a cruelty is a is a cruelty is a is a is 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 a total fucking cruelty is what makes human beings i'm going to tell you what it makes and why because when you are one year old you're just one year old and you know that you're one year old you know that you are small you know you you see other creatures you see other human beings and you know you're like you know like this basically what you want you know you are you are more oriented towards um well you know um like i have time you know you, you see especially if you're around other kids you're like you know you know what i mean i'll catch up you know whatever but in the world i was in was completely different in that world one of the cruelest people that I have to say that was involved in MKUltra was a Jovan Kabros, Tito. Uh, Jovan Kabros was wife from Josip Bros Tito. Uh, there were nurses and it was Jovan Kabros. And, and this she was dressed like in, in white stuff. Jovan Kabros too. Except that Jovan Kabros had more probably you know classy stuff on her but otherwise it's like he had nursing and it's cruel when you're one year old and, and they fucking stress into you that you are now in a selection program if you are not going to pass the selection program I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with you you know it's the first time that you realize that you you fucking exist basically but that's actually like a death threat qualifies as a death threat when they tell you that they're gonna i don't know what the fuck to do with you if you don't qualify like some kids are already in when you see adults treating kids like shit you grasp quickly that it, it's it's for real and it could be no good Never might never see parents again and that kind of stuff will set your mind straight quickly. Under MK Ultra, you don't have even as a one year old, you don't have that defense wall in front of you that you can use to and I don't know. As a one year old, this is extremely difficult that because you don't even know what the fuck world is about. But with nurses around you, giving you all the time impressions about what goes on and this and that. And this goes to the time when, obviously that I, I knew how to speak. If I knew, I did understood though. All right, it was a program, and this program was a sharp, sharp, sharp selection. It was chaotic, as anything can be chaotic with it. Also, children climb back and forth, back and forth, doing all kinds of stuff with us, sorting us out back and forth, one time in one group, another time in one group, interacting with other children and sorting us out back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, and it, it was becoming more and more physical more and more violent age one and a half violence who's going to get who obviously that somehow i was very strong one time i somehow first time i understand i managed to qualify the second time, I don't know, it was not so good. The third time, again, I qualified. The fourth time, uh, talking about like periods that this shit would go on. 
it, this is this is the way the hell this shit went on. Um, injections. Injections at age one. Punishment, probably one and a half injections, whatever the fuck it was, punishment. I did not like, since I recalled Jovanka Josip Brostito, Jovanka Josip Brostito and Josip Brostito were extremely cruel, extremely, extremely cruel people, just like what is stated on a TV, we watch TV for Gestapo, for the SS people that worked inside of the concentration camps. Exactly identical to it. I don't know. You don't have this kind of impression. You don't have this kind of experience, but I do. Uh, there was nothing like... I did not even understand what the fuck I was doing there. Why? What? But I understood that this was some kind of kindergarten. They had Slovenian educators there uh, from the kindergarten, where later on, far later on, a few years later, I would go to the kindergarten. First to the private care from Tatalovici, then I would go to this fucking kindergarten. This educators, for the early childhood, for the one that were explaining this stuff in Slovenian language, it was this Serbo Croatian, Serbian, and also Slovenian or native language. To me, it was uh, almost the same when it comes to understanding. Um, obviously, because of this early, early, early childhood in Belgrade. It was the same thing like with the Russian language in Russia, uh, where I started to, they started to teach me Russian language and I did not even know why the fuck I, everything from the Russian is so similar to Slovenian, is why, why does it sound so uh, similar, this whole thing. And, but these educators, um, It wasn't easy for them because they also, uh, I understand I was also uh, troubling. They acknowledged me as a troubling. And because of me, this uh, early educator uh, had to travel to Belgrade because of me. Uh, they were not happy with it not because of me, but because they were afraid of Bro's family, because the Bro's family was so brutal, this cruel people that you can't possibly even imagine. Child, this is like you fucking grab one and, and literally toes one, I mean. This is the type of environment that was at Josip Bro's Tito at age one, one and a half, two, at age Two and a half, two, two and a half. I don't know what they did to me, but they managed to retard my growth enormously with these injections. And, uh, but like I said, wait, we will bewilder you when I tell you who did this shit. Um, I indicated something on my website. I was I was a bit uh, embarrassed by this stuff, but there's nothing to be embarrassed. And so they they looked us physically how we are, and uh, I started to slow down in a strength the first time when compared to the children at age two and a half because of these injections. They were playing with injections. Um, they would literally measure the strength according to injections at the very, very early uh, childhood. 
evidently this was a human experimentation. Evidently that injections, the growth hormone injections were literally used to measure the strength, the potency in babies, literally, to see how much difference that those injections make. And so at age two and a half, they completely retarded me with these injections. And I found myself weird, but rather embarrassed in front of our babies because I, I wasn't strong. I, lo I lost the strength when compared to other babies. Uh, and uh, apparently my penis my penis was examined by these nurses, by Jovan Kabros, Josip Bros Tito at the end, labeling me as, we'll never forget this, as unfit and even degenerate, degenerated at age two and a half. I will never forget this shit. Never forget this shit because it was the first time in my life because it was like you would go to the school like some kind of Gestapo shit. Like you would be a child from the concentration camp that would attend some kind of Gestapo stuff and would be playing with you, doing stuff with you. Uh, I was really, really embarrassed with it. It was very, very hard for me. I took it very, very hard for me. Uh, and But don't you worry, because the police officer told me don't worry about it. And they started to load me with injections again. Uh, Josip Brostito, thanks God, Jovanka no longer understand, even wanted to see me. Uh, but I was again delivered to Belgrade and again thrown into this group of the children. And guess what? I started to melt these children. Uh, completely, I mean, they were just like gmizzles in front of me. Could do with them whatever the fuck you want. Uh, again, I was like a giant in front of the children, with the children. Uh, at age two and a half, or close to the age three, basically, is when this happened. Uh, I said, what the fuck is going on? What happened? Did you, this injections? He said, uh, he said to me, the police officer stated to me, and that, that's right, this time we gave you different injections. This time we gave you the injections that support uh, growth, strong growth. Do you know who was doing this shit? Do you know who was supplying Josip Bros Tito with this stuff? Prince Andrew. Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth, Prince Philip from Great Britain played with what I stated right now. This was worse than Gestapo. It was worse than SS. It was worse than if you would do human experimentation on people because the cruelty, uh, violence, chaos that involved in this stuff is, is, is impossible to even is is impossible to describe this stuff, how chaotic, how violent this stuff was. Now I was told by the police officer that because of these injections, uh, they were given to me twice, uh, retardation and growth. That by the Prince Andrew alone, who participated in this stuff, had this translated to them, to me that it can only be used twice in life, in early childhood, this stuff, and no more. And in other words, it gets something to do with the bone structure or something like that, that if you use this on too many occasions, they will completely fuck you up. And then God knows what the fuck is going to happen with you. So I'm a freak, probably, uh, of the nature, I think, because at age Six, because this psychopath, Josip Bros Tito, this Jovanka Tito Bros, this psychopath from Serbia, 
uh, decided they, they, they fucking hated me, man. And so it was the end with a growth in directions for me. At age six, they started to implement hard potency growth retardation injections. And they somehow couldn't stop me. That's what's interesting. For yet another three, four years, I ruled physically. You wouldn't even take 10 kids to get me down. That's how strong I was. And never, ever did I want to have a fight, physical confrontation with any child. I had too many problems. I didn't want to have problems. Uh, it was so much violence that went on that I couldn't afford to even have. If I wanted to have, I, I couldn't afford. I have other problems. I had school to catch up and go about things. Right. So I just want you to know the truth about the British royals, who British royals are. I'm not surprised about this cruelty that pertains to the British royals. Uh, I have seen this news today. I'm not doing this because of this stuff here. Don't think that the British royals are the only royals that do the stuff like this. Norway gives F-16 jets to Ukraine, joining Denmark and Netherlands and so on. Yeah, it was stated, it was required from the Zelensky to have a meeting with Alexander Vucic and present one as a fruitful uh, beneficial. Uh, it was something that was eventually uh, shared during MK Ultra by Norwegians who hesitated to assist Ukraine, apparently, what I heard, talking about the Norwegian royals. Um, because of me, because apparently I was a trouble for the Norwegian royals. And, you know, I'm not surprised that I was a trouble for the British royals, uh, for the Norwegian royals. Norwegian royal king was a Titoist. This guy here, Harald V of Norway, was a Titoist. Do you know what the Titoist is? The Titoist is somebody who praised the dictator Josip Bros Tito. This guy here, this, this man here, this was a Titoist, this guy. Apparently, he had to run to Britain with his family because of the German invasion. You know, he was a good friend of Josip Broz Tito. I know the answers about exactly what went on between Harald V, the king of Norway, and between all this stuff that happened to me. I understand this stuff, but you should also understand something about the Harald V of Norway. You know, when Germans invaded Norway, they had, they had impregnated a lot of Norwegian ladies. And I really disagree with, with the right anybody doing this to anyone. It's a terrible thing to do. The thing is that most of this relationship between the Germans and between the Norwegian females were not based on rape. They were based on mutual attraction for one another, sexual relationship. But you know this guy here, this Harold V of Norway? This guy, Harold Far from Norway, he used these children for human experimentation. He got murdered numerous. Yes, I encourage you to go ahead and read 
about Harald V of Norway. So you're going to say about the Oslo Nobel Prize and about all that stuff? You get an idea. This isn't about the Aryan children. It's about fucking children, like a regular, normal children. That's why when something bad happens, as I stated at the beginning of this video, don't expect somebody is going to give it to you on a plate, that somebody's going to deliver to you, or that you're even going to have a lawyer. They're going to come to you and, oh, well, you know, we're going to help you. Now, you know, in reality, it's fuck you. Nobody's going to help you in this world. you got to help yourself because nobody's going to help you. I feel for these children because I know the circumstances I grew up. I didn't grow up. This was wild. More wild than anything else possibly you can imagine. I know that these children have gone through a lot of stuff. None of these children have gone through the shit like I did. Or maybe, you know what? I'm doing injustice right now. Maybe they have gone through worse. You see, mental institutions, if that's where the Norwegians placed them inside. That's what they did. These Norwegian royals are schizophrenics, to be straightforward. And the thing about it is that British royals are the cousins. They are fucking indifferent. They are the same shit. They are, they made out of the same toast. They are beasts. They are not any different from what SS Gestapo Adolf Hitler was. Portion of the British family even sided with Hitler. Thanks for watching this video. Today is August the 25th, 2023, and I want this shit to be known that injections that they started to play with me, they started to play already at age one, and I really was like an animal. Just that I was a human being. I was a little human being, but really, you, you don't really do stuff like this with people, right? do you? To actually see the bone structure, how much it changes, and what, how far you can go with that stuff. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.